Hello, I'm Miss Huff, and I wanted to give you a quick welcome to our virtual earth science class for the school district. My home school is Van Horn. Um, anytime we refer to home school for you, it's wherever you would attend if you were in person. I wanted to make a quick video and send this out to you so you're aware of how to access Canvas from home so you can get started right away on our first day of class with us. So if you go to your student portal, you should have a Canvas link there, but you can also go to the ISD webpage, the homepage for the district. And about halfway down here, you'll see this icon for Canvas. So if you click on that, it's going to pop you over into this page, and you're going to choose Login for Students and Staff. When you do this, it'll bring up a page where you will choose your uh, Gmail account. I'm going to go ahead and do that. All right, so then it pops you into your homeroom. So from here, this is your dashboard if you had Canvas last year. We've got a little bit of a different layout to it this year. Um, so it's going to take you guys some getting used to it if you had Canvas last year. Um, but you will get used to it fairly quickly. All of your courses are going to be here. Um, this is like your dashboard. You can also go to subjects and it will list them all out in a list format. So pick the class that you would want to get into from here. I'm going to choose Virtual Earth Science and put on Student View for you. So this is what you see when you come in. You've got your announcements here. The most recent announcement will go at the top. Um, and then if you scroll all the way to the bottom of this page, you'll have the modules button and the help button. If you're not sure where to go, come down here. You can click modules. You can also click it up top here. The help button is if you're having any kind of technical di difficulties at all. I am not a technical person, a technology person. I cannot help you with a lot of the technical issues um, that students sometimes run into. So this help button is going to be your best friend if you are unable to see an assignment or you know you can't submit something if something's going wrong that's the button you're going to use to get assistance with any of the technical side of it i am here for the curriculum side and the content side um, so if it's a science question you can email me if it is a computer question or a Canvas platform question, click on this help button. Um, on the left hand side, you'll have your account. Homeroom is where all the classes were listed. Subject, again, is where you have that list, the vertical list. You've got your class calendar, and then you have inbox. Inbox is where you are going to send me an email if you have a question or need to get in touch with me. If you send me an email through Gmail, I will not get it. You will not get a response from me through Gmail. Please make sure you send all communications through the Canvas inbox. So that's how you get into Canvas. So how do you work your way through my class? The most important thing you need to know is that we use this modules tab here. If you only use the schedule, the schedule is great because it organizes all of your due dates for you, but it doesn't tell you when something is assigned. So if you only look at the schedule, you may end up with an assignment that's a project that lasts two weeks. So you have, you know, 10, 15 days to work on this project. But if you only look at the due dates on the schedule and it's three in the afternoon, you think you have an assignment due at midnight, so you're going to open it up and try to work on it. Well, now you've got to do two weeks worth of work in one afternoon. Please do not do that to yourselves. Go to the modules page every single class day. If you click on grades, you can see where you're at with assignments and what your grade is for the course. And then resources is going to have information that you're going to use um, throughout the, the course. We'll have dates for tests on here, um, links to recorded Zoom sessions for previous lessons, um, schedules, that kind of thing. All of those resources will be here on this page. 
And again, if you have questions, please access the help button at the bottom of the screen in order to get assistance. If you scroll down a little bit, there is a video here. It's only about two minutes long. It's just a short introduction to let you know some of my interests um, and things that I am interested in doing in my free time. Um, I don't have very much free time near the beginning of the school year because I am getting things ready to teach you guys. Um, but take a look at that. Um, it'll tell you a little bit about me so you can get to know me a little bit. One of the assignments that you're going to do this week is to tell me a little bit about you as well. So that way I can get to know you guys too. But that's it. That's the quick run through of the class. Um, if you click on the modules tab up here, you can go on to the modules page and you'll see that it's set up by weeks. All of your classes should be set up this way. If you need to move something out of the way, just click this little arrow here and it will collapse it. Click it again to open it back up. So you've got week one, the dates, and then what we're covering that week. So this week is Welcome to Virtual Earth Science. I don't have Monday on here yet because I'm still tweaking some of the assignments on it. Um, but all you have to do is come into the week that has the current date in it. Click on the day of the week. Um, we are doing block scheduling um, in the modified block again this year. Um, so back to what we were pre-COVID. So Monday, Tuesday, Friday are going to be all eight classes. And then Wednesday, Thursday are odds one day, even the next. So um, virtual earth science is during sixth hour this year. We will have live Zoom lessons the first half of class. So the beginning of sixth hour, log into the live Zoom. I will put a link in here for you so that you can log in and join us and we'll go through the lessons at the beginning of class and then the second half of class you will have work time and you'll be able to ask questions and that kind of thing if you need to. But all you have to do, log into the modules, open up the page um, that we are going to work on. This is your lesson for the day. Everything's on here. If you work your way down this page in order, you will have no problems. You'll ha always have a bell work, a lesson, and an assignment. Um, it may not always have this table around it. Um, in fact, it probably won't have this table around it very often, but it is always in this order. What we want to do for the day, some kind of starter or bell work, the lesson that we're going to go through, and then the assignment where you utilize the lesson and access the information you just learned. Any reminders that we have will also go down here. So you'll have this order. Always work on the lessons from top to bottom in the modules. And then you can click your back button to go back to the modules page or next to go ahead and move on to the next day's assignment. And that's it. If you go into this modules page and click on the date for the day of class that we are on and you work from top to bottom on that, and you do that every day we have class, you will not miss an assignment. They are all here. So if you pop into this page and you look at the assignment down here, study the safety contract to prepare for the test. So that is what you need to be doing to get ready for the test on Friday. Whereas the day before, we had um, two little short quizzes for you to take down here in the assignments. If you click on those, take the quiz, be done with it. Again, work from top to bottom, check the page every day we have class, do everything top to bottom, and you will never miss an assignment. The schedule is great to see due dates, but when we start getting into the assignments that I allow you several days to work on, you're going to start getting bogged down if you don't go through the modules. Also, those modules have all the lesson information in them. So if you are not getting the information out of the lesson, you're not going to do well on the tests. We'll go through testing and that kind of thing, um, but the pre-tests for the unit, so before we start the unit to see what you know already, can be done at home on your home computers. The post-test for the unit has to be done here at school.
whatever your home school is, you have to go in and schedule time to take that with the administrator. It'll be in a socially distanced room, so you're safe, um, but it is a district test and they are using the lockdown browser. They will not let us let you do it at home. I don't have any control over that. Um, that was a big problem with students last year and they kept emailing me asking me to make exceptions and that is out of my power. Um, that is a central office requirement from the district. I cannot make any changes to that. I cannot grant exceptions to that myself. So if you need an exception, you'll have to talk to your administrator for that. We will start with live Zooms on Monday, um, the 23rd, during 6th hour. So I hope to see you guys there.